Today's vlog is so different because I'm sharing a good news with you all. If you are on my channel and you've always known what my struggles with my phone has been in my past vlog, you're welcome to this particular vlog. Come and join me in my testimony, huh? But if you're new here, please click the subscribe button and sit tight. I'm going to share with you my struggles with my phone. So this is my phone right here. This is the Samsung S7 Plus, the blue coral. Um, I've had this phone for three years. First of all, I started experiencing um, space challenge with it because it comes with two slots for SIM card. Now the second slot for SIM card, you either put a SIM card in it or you put a memory card. So when I put my second SIM in my phone, I don't have space. For a memory card and when i put a memory card it fills up so fast because this is just a 32 gigabytes and then i didn't even have a camera i was doing on my vlog using everything from my phone it was depressing fast forward to the major fall this orange thingy here is not a fancy ribbon darling it's a sellotape i'm using it to hold it all together so that the phone doesn't leave me you know so this made the phone some days it just acts up it does what it wants this was really coming in between my consistency with my vlogging and that is why today you guys see i got this the iphone 12 pro max 256 gigabytes um i went all the way for space because I really need space so today I'm going to be unboxing this and I'm going to be sharing with you the pros and cons of this phone now the reason why I'm going to share the pros and cons of this phone with you is because I got this at the same time with my brother so um, I've tried out his so I know like the pros of the phone and and the cons in it but I reserved mine to unbox it with you guys so we're going to unbox this So I went for the blue, um, the blue design. I really love my gadgets when they come in blue. See, so I'm like a freak when it comes to gadgets when it's blue. Although this is a darker blue. I'm going to start with the pros. The number one pros for me on this phone is one, the battery life. The battery life of the 12 series is quite um, longer than that of the 11 and the other, the previous iPhones. That is one of the things that kind of um, helped me decide to get this phone. The reason is that um, I've never, I used to be an iPhone person, but I stopped at iPhone 5 and I went straight to Android and since then I have not come back to iPhone. Basically, the battery life to me is quite depressing. All my friends I know that have iPhones, they always have power banks with them. They are always looking for where to charge after like how many minutes. They are like, 
like a lost copy all the time looking for a way to charge their phones and blah 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 so i always hated the battery life so when they when i saw that this they did um an upgrade on the 12 series it helped me make up my mind about this one then the second thing i like about it is the aperture of the camera the camera lens of this is quite wider than the 11 pro max so it kind of lets in more light it makes the pictures a lot more brighter and a lot more beautiful than the 11 pro max because um, i'm a vlogger and a content creator i pay a lot of attention into my lenses and the aperture of what i'm shooting with and this here is quite good for a mobile device so i they bought me over with that then the fact that they made a blue a blue color i love blue for my gadgets the top thing that i love about this phone and that is my most favorite thing that i like about this phone is the fact that it was like it was literally designed for a content creator you would place this phone on a table and it is going to stand on its own you don't need to look for a book to shoot your video you don't need to get a bottle you don't need to wedge it with anything like they took out a problem from my heart without me saying it and they solved it it's just bought me over let me show you what i'm saying here. so i'm going to put this phone on this table and let me say for an example i want to make a video or i want to shoot something so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to put this phone on this table and it's going to stand so if i'm shooting i'm just like i don't need to i don't need to wedge it with anything if i'm doing a video it literally just stands and i'm doing my video i'm doing my talks so i can do videos anywhere i don't need to look for something to prop it something to make it stand it's perfect for a content creator you can stand it and shoot from the back However that you want it, it's amazing. You don't need anything to wage the phone and you're just shooting your stuff and it's just standing right there. So like this is my favorite thing about this phone. It's really important to me. This thing right here is really important to me. Because of this, um, they made the designs, the back and the front, a lot more stronger than the 11 Pro Max. So if it falls, it's not going to have crack like the 11 Pro Max. It's quite harder than the other, the previous iPhones. These are my three favorite, favorite things about this phone. Now, my con is one, but it's a fat one. It's a fat major one. One thing that I don't like about this phone here is the fact that how can anybody sell me phone and it came with only cord? Apple. Are people joking with me? Like you didn't put any charger head. I have never in my life heard that they are selling phone somewhere that doesn't have charger head. I have to buy charger head separately. Are you guys joking? It just came like this. So see. There's no charger head. Nothing. The worst part is when I was reading up about this phone before getting it. I did not even see these parts. So I had already ordered for the phone when I heard it in rumor that it, didn't, it doesn't come with charger. If they had told me on time, maybe I would not have even gone for this one. I would have still gone for it because it stands. It doesn't mean something to I would have still gone for it. But then maybe I would have maybe ordered my phone together with a charger head. It didn't come with a charger. Apple said, um, they are doing some eco-friendly blah 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 they don't want their phones they want it to come in smarter packs so it doesn't it doesn't come with a charger it doesn't come with an earpiece like the normal the previous iphones so you have to get a charger for yourself you can get a MagSafe charger the one that you place the phone on and it's charging uh, or you can get a charger head and then charge your stuff thanks to um, the movie they hooked me up with the charger head yeah i ordered for the charger head from them and it came like super on time content 
creator this is it's a good buy for you trust me because if you're thinking of getting a new phone it's not a bad idea it will help your content and make work a lot easier for you give me a thumbs up if you liked this review and give, leave your comment down below if you have questions for me um, i would be so glad to answer your questions and don't forget to subscribe to this channel it's your girl ella the girl at the juice bar i love you guys and Let's look forward to more quality content now. Don't forget to check me out on Instagram at the girl at the juice bar. Bye.